Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Today I'm doing collard greens and I want to take you guys along with me so I can show you exactly what I do to my collard greens to make them so delicious, you guys. So this is what I do. I have some smoked turkey wings. I put them in a pot. I put enough water in there to cover those wings up. And then I put enough of the minced onions on top to kind of cover everything up. And then I put in my seasoning salt, a little garlic powder, give it a nice stir. These will be cooking for about six hours you guys for a nice long while so when it's almost ready you could go on there and get your greens together and look at these collard greens that is the biggest stem you have to take that out i just don't eat mm -mm. it's going to be like that i'm going to remove most of that out of these here i'm going to remove most of it now before i even get to this stage my collard greens are rinsed off as a whole leaf first that is, I know it's just like another step or whatever, but I just do that. I mean, you could really just cut them on up and just wash them as many times as you want. But I rinse them off first as a whole leaf. Then I remove the stem and I stack them all up. And then I'm just rolling it up like this here, like you're rolling up a little green burrito. So that's what I do. And this is a whole bunch of greens. I was so sh shocked when I saw this. I said, this is the littlest bunch of greens I've ever seen. So I had three and I really don't think there will be enough to fill up a half a pot but that's what i got y'all so i cut it up as i was just showing you that's like a half an inch thick and that's about as wide as i i have mine that's just that's just me that's standard for me so i mean you can definitely have them a little wider that's that's totally up to you it's nothing wrong with it but i have mine a half an inch thick and then i'm washing it really good i'm washing it even though i rinsed them at first i'm washing them like three times the first two times i will have a little vinegar in the water like a cup each time i'm washing them a cup of vinegar added into the water and you just wash them really good take them all out start all over and you just do that until those greens are really clean you want those greens clean the vinegar to me is going to kill off parasites and all that and they will be delicious so these are my little turkey wings I'm taking out. As you can see, they are totally done and just falling off the bone. Remove all of those wings out of there. Season that water a little bit, a little seasoned salt and pepper before you start putting in your greens. So I'm going to put in maybe half of the greens that I have. That's about maybe a few little, about, yeah, about half. And I always want to do it that way just half of the greens kind of going in and then seasoning those seasoning salt pepper whatever you want to use but i use the same things every time and i'm putting in a little paprika in there just like a fourth of a teaspoon you guys not a lot just just a little bit or whatever and i'm also going to use like a half a cup of fresh onions that i chopped up even though i use all those onions at first i just want some raw onions to kind of go in and cook along with the greens so a half a cup but i'm only using half of it now and this is this my first little layer here so i'm putting in like a half of that in and then one clove of uh, garlic just mince that up as well and then some of your meat some of your um your smoked turkey i put some of that off the bone and put some of that in there i put the rest of my greens in i put another clove of garlic in i put in of course the rest of the onions i'm going to put in more seasonings now like i said you can use the seasonings that you like to use i like to use seasoning salt i also like to put in a little pepper and this is totally to your taste and to to what you like and taste your greens once they start cooking to see if they're too salty so you can back up off of don't put any more salt you guys definitely taste your food or whatever they're going to simmer like this for about an hour I just want to show you guys this. They're almost done. And as you can see, that's a drastic change in color. So while they're still cooking, I start on my bacon. And I have like four slices of bacon because even though they have the smoked meat in there, I really want to get this crispy bacon in there and all this fat and grease and all this stuff in this pan. I want that in my pot. So I'm country, y'all. I'm a city girl, but my mama was country. So this is what we do. We pour all of that over in this pot of greens. That's just what we do. Now we can stir it up. You don't have to do that. But this is also another thing that us country folks do. If you want to get all of those good, that goodness at the bottom of that pan with those that bacon, put a little of your of your green juice over there. Put some of that juice over. It's all nice and hot. It will loosen all that up. You can pour all that right over in this pot, y'all. 
Pour that over in this pot. Taste your greens. They should be almost done. If they're salty enough, you're good to go. Just stir it all up. If not, add in whatever seasons you like. When I tell y'all, these greens are so delicious. It don't make no sense. Now, like I said, I'm showing you this bacon. Of course, it's soft. If you don't want your bacon soft, some people have a little thing that they don't want it soft. Like, don't don't put it in there or just don't eat it while it's in the, on your plate. But this is it, y'all. These greens are delicious. And you can eat them by themselves or like I like to have them with some cornbread muffins. Did some good eating, y'all. Thanks for watching.